Hello everyone, Scissor Whiskers here, and today we're going to be checking out the Chest Breach Swag Pack by Unimportant Hero. This has been out for quite a while, but there's a new quest mod section of the mod out now. So, we are here near Concord, uh, east of it, at the Goo Goo Bar's warehouse, <laughs> and uh, Regulation Candy Company. Uh, and it seems someone's written some graffiti. Come on down the Chest Breach uh, fan club. South of Bunker Hill, we got chocolate and toilet water. Oh, wow, toilet water. Wow. And I do have a robot friend. We got Big Bam here. Uh, Big Bam did have guns, and then I was like, that's going to be way too easy. We're just going to destroy everything, so I gave Big Bam some hammers. So we are going to head on down to that location. Visit Beacon Hill. Right. My bad. Let's do this. Oh. oh, hell no! Hell no! I just got this bald cap on. You're not gonna take it off of me. Come on, Big Bam. We don't need to fight all these hobos. I mean, we can, but I, I, I right now I'm not a big fan of fighting hobos. Is not. A necessary thing to do. Oh no. Chest Breach Fan Club. Ekra. Th this radio is your friend. Listen to your friend. F you. Oh my god. Are there radios here? Did they follow me? No. Al Chest Breach Mark for Death by something. Decency, collect your cash reward, any radio relays with his head. Hobo side! I didn't kill him. Don't tell anyone about that hobo we just killed. It was a raider. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Hey! Stop! Goo Goo Bazooka! Oh! Bazooka Goo Goo Bar! Cayenne chocolate with. A black walnut crunch. Oh my god. Ooh, bottled toilet water. What else we got here? Zuzu pop. <gasps> Zuzu pop. Oh. <laughs> yes. Drink my dirty water. Get my Zuzu pop. Goo goo bazookas. Explosive damage plus 50% for 600 seconds. Jesus. Uh, Zuzu Pop, AP, HP, good god. The Alchest Breach God mod. You can do anything. Ball Arms is mine. Fan Club Vending Machine. <gasps> oh, a decoder ring? Oh, yes. Alright, I gotta make my, uh... I have a, uh, duster style thing on. Oh, look, it's my family. That's kind of... I should probably go get them. Alright. Oh no. Willie Stubbs. Willie! Willie! Thank the Hall Tape, my story. <clears throat> uh, my name is Shots. Shots McCullen. It's a tough sounding name, I know, but these days. I ain't feeling all that tough. I, uh, I, I never learned how to read, so I'm gonna be recording all my thoughts to these holotapes I found instead. Normally, I, I wouldn't care enough to record my thoughts. I am not a vain man, chick bitty. But, you see, I got one hell of a story to share. It's got death claws and robots and ghouls, beautiful redheads, a man who leads them all. A man with no hands. A man they call Al Chestbridge. <laughs> <laughs> now that right there, that's a tough name. Damn. Fan Club Hall Tape. Alright, we'll listen to this in a second. Willie Stubbs, you poor man. Oh god, this is horrifying. <gasps> a cat. Lacey Gracie! Lacey Gracie! <laughs> Lacey. 
Lacey? Is this a trap? Lacey! Lacey, what are you doing here, Lacey? Gracie? What are you doing here? It's dangerous. Chest Breach fan club member. Who's killing my fans, damn it? Got the YouTube apocalypse, now we got people get murdering my fans. I shall avenge you, my brethren. My beautiful, beautiful brethren. You waited for me, and all you got was death and Lacey Gracie. Lacey Gracie, you want to come with us, Lacey Gracie? Meow. Maybe you're supposed to go over there. Are you, you going to stay over there? This is my robot, Bam Bams. I mean, Big Bams. Here, I'll get you over there, Lacey. Stretch in, Lacey. Okay, Lacey, enjoy your... Enjoy your potato stroganoff. Stroganinis. Uh, Lacey Gracie eats potato stroganoff. So now if you meet her in real life, you can give her potato stroganoff. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, let's listen to this next tape. Uh, fan club. Friend no more. A fiend no more. Okay, okay. So, there I was. Up on the rooftops near the old Sunset Sarsaparilla building. It was a while back, when I was still in the groove with the whiskey fiends. <gasps> I decided to catch some rays while my pals on the ground got ready to sell our whiskey stock to some local brats. Stupid whiskey fiends. <laughs> well, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I hear gunfire from the south. At first, I thought some NCR teddies who wanted to die young had come around, so I grabbed my rifle, but then I heard it. Death Claws just starts roaring, and I changed my mind. Decided to stay put on the roof. I know that probably makes me a coward, but hey, I'm alive. Anyway, at some point, I snuck a peek over the edge of the roof and saw him. Al Chesbridge, the man with no pants. <laughs> he was looting our whiskey while this Death Claw, some robot, and a ghoul were busy doing his killing for him. I, I had some steady with me, and I think I could have picked him off from the roof, but I, I don't know. There was just something so awesome about him. <laughs> All I could do was watch as he did us in, one by one. And then, the explosion started. God. Wait, Willow Vaulted Vase? Get out of here, Will Willow! Phil Willow. Alright. I really want to blow that up, but... Robin. Ooh. Uh, 200 caps. Alright, everyone, I'm making the first donation to our fan club using the donation box. Do donation box. Try not to fill it up too quickly. Also, please, please try not to write anything shitty about President McCullen. Alright? No mean jokes. No stupid rumors, nothing. Just because he cannot read does not mean I am not reading these messages to him. Marcus Pickens, two caps. So what the fuck is the point of a donation box? We put caps in and then we get to leave some cute little message on the terminal for everyone to read? Why donate caps and we can just go raiding? Hell, why put messages on a terminal when I can just write that shit in the bathroom walls? That's my two caps anyway. Robin, 75. We write cute little messages because it fucking cheers people up, asshole. Get with the program and get the fuck out. <laughs> Lampshade Sally, five caps. How about a song, Knight? We've got enough chocolate and booze to last us a few years now, so we might as well live, up, live it up. We could sing along to those old hall tapes the president brought over from the Mojave and have ourselves a gay old time. Maybe even change up some of the lyrics. It'll be hilarious. Oh, you know it. Willie Stubbs, five caps. Zazabazumo! Mm-hmm. Ha-ha. Last night was hil hilarious, everyone. You got some serious pipes. Sally and Robin, those moves, those moves. I don't care what shot says, girl. You still all Janet, you know what I mean? Let me know next time you got some free time. Zaza bazoom boo, everybody. Oh, yeah. Lamb Shade Sally, 150. Hey, everyone, just got paid those caps. One of the traders from Bunker Hill owed me, so now I'm putting some down so we can get shots to tell us the story about that time we saw Chess Breach's robot drive a school bus full of children through enemy territory with nothing but a slingshot and a box of stale popcorn for ammo. I sure do love that story. Oh, my God. Robot drive a school bus full of children through enemy with nothing but a slingshot and a box of stale. 
Uh, could whoever keeps pissing in the toilets actually stop, please? Like, you do you not understand how fucking rare it is for a toilet to be connected to a working water supply out here? Toilet water is for drinking only, and we need to keep it clean. Just open a window and piss from the second floor like everyone else or go out around back, all right? Yeah, come on, what are you doing? What, 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 what is this? I'm gonna do it! Okay, it's just a normal radio. <gasps> Jero! Oh, Jero! Hmm. Jero master. Jero key master. Look at you. Oh, no. Defend the radio head enforcers? Wait, defend radio? Oh, lampshade Sally, no! Oh my god! <laughs> How much is that gonna hurt me? Oh shit. Time to go... Shooting. Going down your radio-headed son of a bitch! Thought you could find me? Jesus Christ, never mind. Take it back, I take it back. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, crap. Shotgun, where are you? Not a shotgun, whatever. Big Bam! This is what you've been made for. God, don't die! Jero, don't fucking die! Get out of here, Jero! Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, no. Oh, God, oh, God. Jero, stay. <gasps> Jero. God, you're worse than the... Ugh, worse than the Adam dickheads. Where's my shotgun? Oh, I got my my future P90. It shoots lasers. Oh no! No! <laughs> you killed my. <laughs> An itty bitty baby quest. Oh no. Jero, you okay? Oh, you're fine. Where's Jero? Oh, there you are. Gee. Hmm. Rad Roach. Oh, God. You can eat the body if you want, Jero. Hmm. This looks like an actual radio. Can't get the mask off. Lazy Gracie, how'd you get up here? Wait, are you guys following me? Goo Goo Grenade! Oh my god. Mod reviews? Oh Jesus, Marcus Pickens. Goo Goo Bazooks! This is what you get when you drink all that toilet water. Get, get out of here. Some pri this is private! Broken. Not anymore. All right, what do we got? Three, four. What the hell is this? Is this a shower? Hmm. All right. Uh, three. All right. It's been a few weeks since the raid, and I've been stalking Al Chesbridge ever since. Well, following him from a distance, anyway. I, I, I'm not weird. I, I just I just think he's really cool. Anyway, it, it took a while, but I finally caught up to him as he was leaving some fucked up little town called Skunkwater Gulch. I kept my distance and watched him from behind an extra wide cactus. And that's when I learned that the Deathclaw, the robot, and the ghoul are his personal traveling companions. Totally freaking awesome, Chicka Bitty. Oh, looks like he even picked up some choice redhead named Janet while he was in the gulch. If I didn't know better, uh, I'd say the two were a special kind of close. You know what I mean? 
We're both deathly sick. Lacey Gracie. Don't fall down the stairs. Don't fight Jero. Hello, everyone. Who is he talking to? <laughs> There's no one there. He's talking to no one. Come to think of it, where did he get those guns? I wonder if he has an inside line with the gun runners. Wait a minute. Do you think... I mean... Do you think he's been talking to me this whole time? Do you think he knows I'm here? Oh, shit. <laughs> I think he's talking to me. It's true, I was talking to you. And now you're dead. They took you from me. I will avenge you. Shots McCullen. You beautiful, beautiful man. Shots, last words. Oh, that's right. Ooh, decoder ring. I will take all your clothes and not bury you. Just as I would like to be not buried. Oh! Oh! Oh, I took his head off. Now I just look fancy. Now I just look fancy. There, there we go. Ooh, got my whiskey up here. You don't get out of my whiskey. All right, what do we got? Shots, I never thought I would be leaving you a message like this, but I just don't feel happy here anymore. And it's all your fault. We came here from the Mojave together. You, me, and my dad. You were there when he died on the 80. We could have given up, but... You wanted me to see my family's business through. You told me it's what Al Chesbreach would do. That he never quit. He never gave up on his companions. Uh. I thought you were so cool. And then, when we got here, we decided to build a fan club in this burned out gift shop. Do right by the man whose stories got us across the wasteland. We found people to recruit, spent all our caps rebuilding the place, and made a home where people are supposed to be happy. We had a future here. I mean, I was teaching you to read, Shots. Fuck, I'm rambling. Look, I know I can never be Janet. What woman could ever live up to her example? But I guess I hope that I could be your Janet. Even with everything that happened to me. I guess I was wrong, and so if I can't be happy here, I'll go where I can at least be safe. You know where. So long, McCullen. I'm going to the glowing sea where nothing bad ever happens. Guess who's special? I'm special. I'll get them extra muscle arms. Best thing of my life. All right. Uh, last words. Shots McCullen's last words. Dear Robin, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I still care about you, Shots. Well, everyone, I hope you're all depressed now. <laughs> oh, crap. Attention, East Coast Radio Radroach Alliance Vanguard. Your orders are as follows. One, make contact with Professor Armanded and learn about this new timeline and the technology he used to make contact with our own timeline. Assist him in acquiring the resources he needs to further develop his unique technology. Two, identify and eliminate anyone who could be linked to the so-called Al Chess Breach. If Professor Armanden is to be believed, our empire was able to achieve full continental dominance because this so-called breach died before fully establishing himself in our timeline. If his existence is so influential, he and his allies will need to be eliminated before we can expand our empire into this new timeline. To assist with your mission, you are being outfitted with standard ECRRA photoacoustic conversion technology, which will work with any standard laser rifle. In addition to some new armor, the roaches in ECRRA or ND cooked up. Remember, Vanguard, have a great time out there. Bunch of sickos made armor out of their own bodies. 
to do a grenade. Hey, hey, Big Bam. You give me, like, a little bit of space. Yeah, I know you want smooches, but guess what? Everyone's dead, and my fan club is ruined. So, I'm gonna need some space. Steve, get that money! All oh, right, let's, uh... Goo grenade. And the photo acoustic ECRA laser rifle. That is a mouthful. That is a mouthful if I've ever heard one. Whoops. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, Lazy Crazy. No, 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 no. It's fine, it's cool. Don't, 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 stop, 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 stop. Lacey, what did I tell you? Stay down here, Lacey. Eat your potato stroganoff. We'll all be fine. Unless there's a clone of you down here. No, there isn't. All right, we're cool. Sorry about that, Lacey. Don't attack the cat. Oh. Got our decoder ring and everything. Clothes. All right. What does the decoder ring do? Should probably wear it. Oh, you just gotta pay money for it. You don't. Need, you don't even gotta do anything. You just pay your damn money. Put your money in the sack. Decoder ring, decoder ring. I don't have any pants on. Decoder ring, bam, bam. All right. I think that's just about everything. Um, I do believe we can build. I should probably be a little bit more worried about the fact that there are, um, like radios in 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 the in the uh, Commonwealth. I should probably go rescue my friends too. That'd probably be it. Probably be a big, big deal. <gasps> oh, I can make my own donation box. Oh yeah, for those who deserve punishment. <laughs> oh nice. Put my donation boxes everywhere. Everyone you can put your. You can come come on down to the fan club. Chest Breach Dakota Ring World. You come on in here, you get your magic fan club vending machines. Put your money in the donation box. It's gonna be great. I'll take your dead corpse. I'll bury it in the back. We're gonna have a great time. Everyone's gonna be everyone's gonna be just laughing and having a good time. Jero's here. Lacey Gracie's in the basement trying not to get murdered. It's great. There are kids outside screaming. It's amazing. Alright. Let's go outside. I do want to go back to the Goo Goo Bar factory. I'm pretty sure... Fine, Willow. I'm pretty sure there isn't um, anything inside of there. Goo! <laughs> Goo. This is my uh, future gun. Where's my future gun? Come on, future gun. There you go. Good. Good. It's time to get good. Yeah, you're squirrel. You're not part of the Flan Club. That's right, Flan Club. Flan for everyone. Right. Oh. Oh, no! Hi there. I won't be able to aim today. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Big Blam. <laughs> Big Bam. I was like, what happened? Yep, I do believe that is all. All right, looking fancy. Looking spicy, everyone. Look at me. Get your spice. Oh, we got to use the grenades. Get good. Yeah. Bottle of water. You then go insane. <laughs> Goo goo bars. We'll burn your goddamn house down. <laughs> uh, Alright, everyone, that's gonna do it for the Fallout uh, 4 Chest Breach Swag Pack by Unimportant Hero. This is fantastic. I, I, I love this so much. This is gonna be great. We're gonna be using this in the future, obviously. Uh, this is one of my definite default mods that I always have on. Uh, not, to, not to blow smoke up my own butthole. But uh, I really enjoyed this. Just 
really well done and uh yeah fantastic well i think we're gonna be keeping some residents at the uh at the fan club and uh maybe we'll uh well we we gotta get our our og companions back i'll uh maybe see if i can get a, a transmission back to the uh, west coast so thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed i know i did and me and big bam shall see you in the magical goo goo bar future Away, Google bars. I look like I pooped my pants and I'm trying to run. Away. Oh, yes. <laughs>